So in this tutorial I will show you how to replace player character with custom character. I hope this is useful for some of you, especially for you who googled the search. So first of all, if you are in Roblox Studio and you click play, the question is how you can replace this guy. You can build a new rig using build a rig plugin. Let's say you have this guy. Secondly, let's say you have toolbox open, replace your character with something that was imported from the marketplace. And thirdly, let's say you want to make this block your player. All right. So how to do it? You see there is a starter player folder. You drag the desired model inside of the starter player folder and you name it starter character. If you click play now, all right, uh, if you click play now, you get killed because this guy is going to kill you. Uh, I will delete those scripts, then it doesn't, doesn't do anything. <coughs> All right, so now, as you can see, I'm not the pizza guy anymore. I have this new guy. And you can also see that this guy is a little bit moving. Like it has certain animations, but you can't move. The guy is stuck on the ground. The question is why this guy is stuck on the ground. So if we look the model, usually, why something is stuck on the ground is because something is anchored. So we have to check the anchored field and we will click all parts. It's okay, okay, okay. And we find that humanoid root part is anchored. So we can click play again. And now I can run around with this custom character. Can we do the same for this guy? Let's say we drag it here. We name it starter character. And we click play. And as you can see, my new custom character is this guy. So it works. What happens if I name it starter character, lowercase? If you name it lowercase, it will not work. It is case sensitive, so it has to be correctly named. But now finally, can we make this part our custom character? Let's move it here. Let's name it starter character. Let's see what happens. If I click play now, we can see nothing happened. And in the terminal, you can see starter character model must have a primary part set. So all right, let's make a model. Let's name this starter character. Let's move this in. Let's name this X. All right. If you click on the starter character model on the properties window, you will see a primary part attribute. You need to set it 
this. So what will happen now? So I will click play again. As you can see, I have this part here, this block, but I can't move it around. I, I can't move the camera and I can't move around. And in the terminal, you will see two warnings. First of all, we need a humanoid and we also need a torso. So let's do this. We go inside of this starter character model. We add a humanoid and let's name this as torso. If we click play now, what will happen? As you can see, I can, I can move camera and I can also walk around. So this is my custom character now. So here you go. You learn how to change the custom character and I hope you liked it. And uh, make sure you leave a reply, you give a like. And if you have any questions, then you can write a comment. Cheers.